Welcome to your opening match here at MDL Disneyland in beautiful Paris. Up to this top lane, making it a two for two. And X Nova may be out of position as a result. Z Freak gonna try and cut him off in the trees here. It's gonna spot him, get a little damage. Meanwhile, mid lane, look at that, Limps TA. His legendary Templar Assassin was countered by PSG LGD's fourth pickup in the maybe Bat Rider. And you can see exactly why they do manage to catch eventually X Nova inside the trees. Metamorphosis popped by Ame for the foreseeable future. Oh, look at this bottom. Yeah, gonna go for a big rotation with the lasso, the pullback here. Chalice has the full opportunity to drain Miracle to death. Yeah. That 5,000 gold item that you decided to farm uh, just becomes his for free. And look at that, Ame gave up his safe lane tower and he says, I'll make a trade off too. I'll head mid, I'll pop my metamorphosis. That mid tower was super low anyway. They're gonna bring Chalice over here as well to make sure the tower does fall. Meanwhile, top lane, Miracle, he may have gotten the tower, but he was sharing experience and is still not level six. They're also gonna go on mid lane. They surround the Brewmaster, kill him while the Wraith King dies at top. They take the mid tower as well. Too, especially for the Ancients. Like both of those players, I think do that the most is. Inkswell, uh, Snowball is gonna be able to dodge that. He is gonna run back in and an ice shard's a beautiful one at that this can turn complexity's game entirely if they can actually kill multiple heroes here chalice does manage to sneak away with his tp monkeys forever just a little bit slow i'm popping that primal split and getting out the tornado needed and this should be a free tier two is i mean everybody from complexity is filtering in and three four three it looks like he does want to set up for the fight right now but tower's gonna fall quickly and miracle his first life is gonna pop they have to try to defend him here but bad rider the Snowball is going to be able to save him. The Brewmaster is on his way with Blink Dagger right now. Is he going to be able to appear in time? There goes Clap. There goes Primal Split as well. He starts getting out the Disabled. So they're going to go for Ame first, it looks like, but the Lasso's up. And Ame is still swinging. He's going to be able to take Miracle down fast. And even with the Disables, there's no damage behind any of this. And that means Complexity are just going to get almost wiped here. Three of the four end up falling. Uh, to at least get people to come back. Ame, Snowball coming out for him. They think that PSG LG is a little bit isolated here. The Doom is going to come out. The Primal Split as well. They're going to be able to kill the Tusk yet, but they're controlling up Ame. But so many heroes are here from PSG LGD. They were not that far away. They're going to try and burst down FY, but he's being healed up while the Decrepify and the Drain coming out from the Pugna is going to be able to keep him alive. Miracle's limping him away. He has 14 seconds till Reincarnation is back up. That's not going to be long enough. It looks like he will fall here. Once again, Complexity try and take a fight, and then it's in error as they were not strong enough to be able to take the engagement. They lose two and potentially three here as Monkeys Forever is going to be bounced back by that flame break up, maybe. He tries to go for the TP out. He's going to take out, though, Mega Kill Streak for maybe even X Nova. Well, looks like he was a little bit separated from his team as they all chase back for that uh, Brewmaster. You would probably have to overplay your lineup a bit, but you could build, beat a single core TB. Limp is going to be able to blink away just before. Maybe was able to get the lasso, but maybe he's closing in. Has a flame break. He's going to get hexed up, but he's still, with all that extra movement speed, going to be able to pull Limp back. Z Freak was he not able more. to stop that kill. And now Z Freak going to try and go for the TP out, but there's the Yules to be able to stop him. Brought back down to Earth and to his own doom as it is now 4 to 13, 8,000 net worth lead for PSG LGD. Need to be able to fight because I think the high ground attempt from PSG LGD is gonna come soon as top lane doom out onto this TA. Limp's just gonna go down. And even with the BKB cap, he doesn't really have an answer to that. No, certainly not. I love the way that Chalice just kind of chilled out in the trees waiting for his doom to find that initiation. Maybe he's in a bit of trouble here, though. Surrounded, they're gonna try and change on him as best as possible. The Grimstroke tries to come oh, in and grip. help out. The double lasso is gonna ensure that they both die. And was it even close on that secondary life for Ami? Just run up high ground, pop the meta, start attacking the tower before Complexity is really set up to defend. As their Wraith King is nowhere nearby, maybe. Comes in through the side from the trees, hoping somebody from Complexity was a little lapse in their spacing. Not gonna be caught. And looks like Complexity gonna give up this lane of racks. And I can't really blame them. We don't see this very often, Dota, that you go for no defense of uh, barracks. But at this point, I don't think they can actually take that engagement. Not until the Aegis is down, which is in 25 seconds. But Ame's gonna use that full 25 seconds here. They've got one lane of barracks. 
Now I'm going to go for the tier three at mid. Radiance is finally here. Complexity, can they do anything to be able to hold this? They've got all their item timings now. Miracle has already lost his reincarnation. We have the last one, the BK beat of Templar Assassin. Going to be controlled up. They're going to be locked in by that Grimstroke as well. Miracle in his second life is already gone. The BKB is going to wear out eventually for the TA. He's currently doomed up in the back line. X Nova controlling 343 as well. Monkeys Forever is only alive because the primal split is just not being dealt with right now. 343 does actually manage to kill the Grimstroke. Drop the gem, but that's it. GG is called from complexity. Pretty much a flawless performance by PSG LGD. We'll see what happens in game two because it sounds like our panel is favoring the complexity draft a lot more than they were in game one. Pull out. Nice little juke around there from Monkeys, but it's gonna be uh, Miracle who managed to pick up the first kill on Chalice. First blood for complexity, and now Z Freak's gonna join him as well to force FY back. Apparently FY's not too scared though. He's still gonna swashbuckle for some CS. Um, yeah. Not nearly the game that Chalice had last game. Chronosphere just gonna be thrown out there, Ame. He's hoping to be able to get some stuns here because he Watch definitely needs it. Monkeys Forever is going to just be able to He's play committing. in the trees. Ame's really going to try and commit for that. Oh, this is a dangerous game to play against a Bat Rider. Monkeys Forever thinks he's going to be able to take advantage of it, but there's only so much Firefly left, and Ame's just going to play a little bit wise here and jump away with his TP scroll. Meanwhile, maybe he's trying to jump around and go for Limp right now and might be able to get this kill underneath the nose. Great nice LSA. Stun. Now the healing salve. He's running out of mana, but the Sprout is going to be able to lock him in. Chalice drops a bit low, but 343 is out. Out of spells and he will not be able to get vengeance for his lost mid laner in limp and last z freak can somehow he's a little bit far away a momentary stun out from the ink swell but now they're actually going to turn to fight a little bit monkeys forever is coming over the firefly but maybe with that extra bit of damage not going to be enough for z freak they are going to be able to kill the opposing mid but z freak will lose his life it's two for one exchange doesn't really have the ability to just like go gank easily and his laning phase is Oh, the silence! It might be done enough, and it is! FY gets a little lucky on the lucky shot, and now they're gonna be able to catch his 3 4 3s. Beautiful body blocking there from Chalice will help secure the support kill as well. Now, Monkeys Forever is gonna be caught trying to farm up the neutrals, but that's where Storm wants to be as well, and he had an arcane rune to make the kill easy. One way to deal with having so many different counters to you. Oh, I'm just gonna go in. Maledict onto Z Freak. The paralyzing cast bouncing back to Z Freak. Two helps with the damage needed to be able to get that kill. But the lasso onto the Storm Spirit with the Ink Swell, the silence. It's a nice combination. Monkeys Forever took so much this damage from the DD. Storm. And now the 3 4 3 is gonna be caught inside this Sprout. That's three dead. Complexity. Choose another ill timed fight in PSG LGD. Mop it up, take three kills, maybe taking the tower as well. Doom hasn't hit six for some time, but now that he is, maybe he makes his way on a chalice up at top lane. There this is should be. be a kill. The Rolling Thunder thought about going in instead. There's like the lead chalice, oh, but no chalice way. with the sprout, the TP out. No! Complexity! They should have had the guaranteed kill. Meanwhile, Monkeys Forever trying to defend his tower is going to die here. Now the Rolling Thunder is going to come in as they see Limp is going to be caught as Chalice comes back in. Remember me? Tried to kill me. Didn't get it. Now I'm going to be able to kill you too. Miracle turns into a Pango. Can use that Swashbuckle to try and jump away as the extra bit of HP will help him survive. But uh, maybe is not backing down either. He's still going to try and go for this kill despite the two health bars here. Now going to be silenced up. Gets the extra Javelin proc. The Morphling falls, Z Freak. He's gonna do him up. They need this kill. They need it badly. Monkeys Forever is trying to boost his way over. Misses out on the sneaky napalm. Wasn't quite close enough. Now the flame break. Beautiful setup. Is gonna be able the to silence back on the this bat. void. The silence on the bat though is gonna be slowing down the sneaky napalm. They need to be able to catch him. Finally, they do get the lasso. He's got First one down now. The time walk. He's gonna be able to stop this in turn. Monkeys Forever is dead. Ame, two seconds up. Mask of Man, he's gotta wait out that, but he will be able to catch up to Z Freak eventually here. Ame, much like Chalice, they tried to go on him, failed to get the kill, and as a result, he turns around and kills his offenders. And they shouldn't be, not right now. I think they've sort of missed out on that timing window as FY. FY. Uh, popping it. He's gonna try and shield crash to get a bit of distance away from Z Freak. It's gonna be caught eventually here unless the Swashbuckle gets away. Meanwhile, the Chronosphere up here in the top lane. Very important kills. Even if the Storm Spirit's locked in, it doesn't matter. Those two are too damn squishy. Meanwhile, back over to bottom lane. We are gonna be able to get the last with a successful pickoff onto FY. We are not gonna see the same 20 to 4 score we saw last game. If you're not even gonna take any sort of trade, this just feels like it's rough.
because now by the time you try to take mid, maybe there's some turnaround here as there's all of the TP's come. There's gonna be mass coming in, and Chalice is not gonna die that fast. Little Gooder Blade's gonna come out, not quite enough burst damage. Chalice is probably gonna die to Z Freak now, but Ame is looking to be able to catch somebody here. Not getting any of the cores, so they're just gonna have to go for Z Freak instead. Burst damage. Less and less viable. Oh. Long jump over. They're going to be able to grab the Morphling, who they already have the Spirit Vessel on. They preemptively uh, got the Furion in there. A big Wrath of Nature hit on multiple heroes, but they are going to pull the Chalice back to his doom. All these heroes are low, though, and maybe sees it, as well as FY. Two of them down. Complexity now on retreat. Miracle and Limp are pretty mobile. You can see Ame has not died once. Chalice four times, but he's willing to take that engagement. He's now the blink forward. And we have maybe jumping in, causing some chaos. FI is going to try and make sure these heroes are disabled as long as possible. Oh, the Lift double grip. himself. They do manage to get the double lasso up here with Miracle being able to burst down the back line. That was beautifully set up. Finally, they get a great Grim Show combination. But Ame, you said he wasn't needed for most of this, and now he's going to show himself. Now he's going to show that he can carry out this game with his BKB. He managed to get two kills on the supports, but they have to back up. They don't have buyback on Limp, so they'll be pretty all in on this defense. But before three is gonna approach, we'll be able to grab two of them with the lasso pullback. Here comes Fy to be able to interrupt all the spell casting though. With the glue debates already out, they are gonna be able to bring down two. But the BKB, no, Ame doesn't fall. Even with Doom on him, with the BKB, he just turns and starts right clicking some of these heroes. Limp's gonna be pulled back into his Doom as Doom himself gets caught inside the sprout, trying to make his way back into the fountain where maybe is currently residing in complexity. Don't want to watch the massacre that's gonna happen inside of their fountain as they call GG to try and escape, but it won't happen. Five members of complexity get wiped out inside of their fountains.